covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A new lightweight virtual reality device has been created that would allow users to touch objects at shops and museums without ever having to go there in the flesh. The limits of virtual reality have been stretched in the last five years. The technology has become the medium of choice for game developers, artists, and actors alike, seeing a real boom in projects that bring us alternate realities during enforced social isolation. Through immersive audio and visual landscapes, the ability to visit mind-blowing locations, real or not, is on the brink of becoming an affordable option for many. Nowadays, what you see and hear in virtual reality is not so dissimilar from actually visiting these places. However, up until now, the experience did not give us the ability to physically interact with surrounding environments. Chris Harrison, assistant professor at Carnegie Mellon's University, Human Computer Interaction Institute says, Elements such as walls, furniture, and virtual characters are key to building immersive, immersive virtual worlds, and yet contemporary VR systems do little more than vibrate hand controllers. A team at the Pennsylvania University has created a new device that uses haptic feedback, a technology which stimulates the sensation of touch to make the virtual experience seem more real. Where other devices might use a series of expensive, power-hungry motors to give the sensation of touch, their design uses a simpler mechanical solution. From a shoulder-mounted system, a string is attached to each finger, giving resistance based on what the user should be feeling. A spring-loaded mechanism is combined with an electric latch that stops the hand from moving further as it makes contact with heavy objects in the virtual world. Kathy Fang, co-author of the study, says, I think the experience creates surprises, such as when you interact with a railing and can wrap your fingers around it. Fang said the system would be suitable for VR games and experiences that involve interacting with physical obstacles and objects, such as a maze. It might also be used for visits to virtual museums. And in a time when physically visiting retail stores is not always possible, she says. You might also use it to shop in a furniture store. While their research shows that this method provides a much more realistic sense of touch, the team says that a mass-produced version, when, re when ready, could be available to the public for less than $50.